Hey guys, so I have a very exciting video for the Samsung users. So uh, basically there is a new application uh, release is called as Good Lock App. And uh, this is a sort of, you, you can say that early beta program, you know, Samsung is bringing a huge change to, the, to their uh, TouchWiz UI, uh, which is going to be uh, coming with the Android N of course, because Android N is the uh, or we don't know what the official name will be, Android Nutella, whatever. So Android N, it will be a bigger change uh, from the Marshmallow. So uh, this Good Lock app, like I said, brings those uh, future changed, advanced TouchWiz UI features here to the S7 Edge. So in order to uh, get this on your S7 Edge, you just have to install that app. Uh, so first of all, straight away from the lock screen, you can notice that it has a different wallpaper, it has a different look, so uh, I can unlock my phone. Uh, I can also drag some application up and there is, those applications will be opened. And uh, also, like I said, some more shortcuts there, going into gallery. You can also go into camera and there's a, I think this is uh, their voice memo application. And uh, that's uh, how we have quick settings here. Obviously, we can edit them also. Uh, you got your time, you got your uh, date, day, month, and you can notice the carrier on the top and uh, the uh, the battery and the uh, basic stuff on the top right corner. Unlocking the phone, of course, you have this effect going on, ripple effect, bubbles, looks really cool. Unlocking the phone, and then you can see basically like I said, very few changes are at the moment. So swiping down to the, uh, looking at the notification panel here, you can see they have changed it. It's more uh, like a, like the stock UI or stock Android, you know. It's not traditional Samsung's uh, notification panel. So you got your quick settings here. Uh, you can control the brightness. Uh, you have, of course, time and day, month battery you do have this uh, search button which is basically the s finder you can search pretty much any application uh, contacts and stuff like that and uh, also uh, you get your suggested apps of course uh, you can see here uh, and uh, you can also notice that there is a settings gear which is of course for the main settings uh, you can also see there is a smaller setting gear if i click on it it basically gives me the option for this good lock app uh, so I got this uh, first app for uh, or first option for routine uh, here you can see it says that you can arrange the apps and widgets in which you make frequent use uh, you know those stuff that you use a lot you can arrange that and uh, I'm just gonna hit no so you can create a, a routine let's say um, social next Cancel, next. So of course it is a new feature, might be a little bit complicated for some people, but what you can do here is that you can create a certain uh, routine, you know, like you want to see certain widgets from certain time, like from 8, 20, 9, 20, you want to see some uh, widgets, so you can create re these routines. Uh, quite a neat feature there. You can of course uninstall this application in order to get your uh, Marshmallow lock screen back if you really don't uh, like this. If you just pull down like this, you get some settings that are already um, popping out. So you got your Wi-Fi, location, sound, you know, very minimalistic uh, settings, uh, basic settings, okay? You're not gonna see all the power saving mode there. You're not gonna see all that uh, BS that Samsung's previous Samsung's uh, uh, notification panel had. And it's, you know, much more cleaner. And I really like this uh, pink-white combination. And uh, and you can also see if we get any notification here, uh, it's gonna come up here and you can keep the notification like if uh, like I have kept some notifications here. So these were the notifications that I was, uh, that I received. And of course I have the option to check them out and you know, it's still there. So you, you all your notification will appear here. You can swipe them to the right to keep them, okay? And keep will, Will, you know, if you swipe them to the right, is they will remain there. You can open them up. You can also 
and remove them by swiping to the left and says the notification will be removed and just do not show again and that's how you can remove it. Also we have a big change here in the recent tabs. Now this is really different from your usual Android phone. I can just show you here if I do a quick little comparison with the Nexus 6B. Uh, so you know when you open different apps on on Nexus 6B or like Marshmallow phone you get these type of stuff. But it's much more different now. If I open it you can see here you get all your uh, lost open apps uh, right here. Uh, so you get the cross button to close them. We also get a major design a change in the recent tabs or multitasking area. Now here you can see all your recently opened um, applications that are, you know, of course, still open in the background. Uh, now you can close these applications by just uh, pressing the uh, the cross button, of course, like this. Or of course, you can open that by just touching them. So I'm just going to close it, and you can just hold down on a certain application, and you can you get this little uh, blue 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 uh, you can say blue box and when you release it it's gonna give you a pop-up view where you can close this you know it's like an advanced multitasking thing you know while at the same time you can attract interact with your phone and it's pretty amazing actually so I'm just gonna uh, close it and show you guys some more stuff with this uh, recent tab now uh, apart from just uh, quick access to the pop-up view you also get the access to the multi window so obviously works with these uh, applications that supports so uh, as you can see here the Instagram it supports the multi window so you get this quick icon you can click on it and then you can select any other application so you get this split uh, view so amazing stuff uh, stuff I'm just loving it you know I'm just loving it and I I'm having a good faith that of course, this is experimental at the moment. You will see more, um, you know, additional things also. So, of course, you can close them one by one, or you do. Uh, you do have this uh, remove all button. It says no recently used apps. Uh, also, you get your uh, what you call uh, applications uh, like uh, basic applications like gallery, you know, system based applications. Uh, you can edit them. You can remove them. You can also add some more applications like I use Instagram and Facebook and YouTube Creative Studio so I can add, uh, add these uh, uh, those applications of course if I want to add this color switch I can just click on it and I can just have it okay and now you can see color switch is there it's sort of like you know iOS a little bit a little bit like iOS you know uh, the icons are not wobbling but you can just press the cross button so but but yeah it's, I think it's it, it's 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 a really advanced step towards the right direction. I'm really uh, positive about the changes and hopefully we'll see more and more features coming. Uh, this is just the Good Log app, of course. Again, for the installation, visit the link down below in the description box. It will work with all the Samsung phones running Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe for daily tech videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.